it's just uh let me regather my thoughts more of like heart to heart with you guys then we have probably the biggest loan here Everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, whew, it's a hefty one. So I'm going to be talking about my student loan debt. I know this is like, it's such a trending topic. It's also such a taboo, top, taboo topic. It's just insane. But um, since I have been focusing on a bunch of finance videos and all the financial growth and financial changes in my life i really wanted to open up about my debt to you guys so you if you are on the same boat if you have less debt more debt or whatever it is that you have um that you get some inspiration to know that there is hope and that this is something that you can get done you can put money towards your student loans and you should be putting money to your, to your student loans if you still have a job during this pandemic so yeah this video is more of like heart to heart with you guys opening up and also kind of like inspiring you to get things done so I basically just went over my Nelnet account and went over all of my statements and kind of wrote down all the gross numbers of um, my student loans. So at the end of medical school, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight loans, totaling $231,411. That's the principal amount. That is basically what I have taken out from the government that is the amount the that is the amount of money that I have requested throughout my four years of medical school to cover all of my living expenses educational expenses tests travel for interviews all of those kinds of things that is a big number and that number gets even bigger so I basically calculated or wrote down all the numbers to the balance that I had back in March of 2020, which is the when the pandemic forbearance began, which means that all of student loans are at 0% interest. So they're not accumulating any interest right now. Um, and basically from when I first started getting my loans to March of 2020, my balance had increased by $49,457.95 for a grand total balance. And this number is just horrendous. It's $280,868.95. It pains me. It pains me to see that number and it pains me to, you know, accept that this is the reality for most of us who are medical students or doctors or lawyers or any kind of professional school, it's expensive. And even when you start working, like during residency, even though we don't get paid that much, um, we still have to pay our loans and it's a significant amount of money. So since March of 2020, I have been consistently paying a monthly amount towards my student loans. So initially, I think I started with like $600 and then I increased it to $700. So I've been contributing about $700 every month towards my student loans. And I have paid um, since March of 2020. We are back. So my uh, battery ran out of charge, so I had to change that. So if it looks ever so slightly different, that's the reason why. Uh, let me regather my thoughts. What I had paid since March of 2020. Since March of 2020, I have paid $6,940.15 towards my student loans. So that means one thing, all of my interest balances are at zero. It also means I was able to pay off one of the loans entirely. 
and that I am in the process of paying down two other loans. So let's go into a little bit more detail. My first loan, and these are in order that I took them out, from first year, uh, first semester, I had $44,000 $500 that has grown to $58,810.02. That is a $14,000 increase from the original loan amount. Then we had a $2,300 loan that grew to $2,756.20, and that's the one that I paid off. Then we had $42,167. Uh, that has grown to $52,503.53, so $10,000 increase, and that's from second year, I believe. Then we have an $8,600 loan that increased to $10,930, and currently it's at $10,000 because I paid off a little bit of it. Then we have a $4,200 loan that increased to $5,270.38. So that's a $1,000 increase, and it's currently sitting at $4,425.17, and that is the one that I am currently trying to pay off. Then we have a $17,000 loan um, that is currently at $20,177.99. So that's a $3,100 increase. Then we have probably the biggest loan here. It's actually two loans in one. It's $85,444. And that has increased to $97,255.33. So that is a $12,000 increase in just interest. Oh God. And finally, we have a $27,200 loan that has increased to $30,574.76. So obviously none of the super huge um, loans are, I'm not gonna be touching them anytime soon, unfortunately, unless, I don't know, I win the lottery or inherit like a lot of money or something like that. The reason that I want to pay off the $10,000 and the $4,000 loan is because they have the highest interest at 6.8%. So I want to just leave the ones that have 6% or less. So as long as the forbearance keeps going on, like if you saw my 2021 financial goals video, it's going to be linked over here you will know that I, as long as the forbearance keeps going, I'm gonna keep paying uh, my student loans as much as I can so I can decrease the amount of balance that I have. So from the $280,868.95, we are currently sitting at a balance of $273,746.80. Uh, so it's still a hor horrendous number. I wish it was different. I wish that I had tried to do a little bit more during med school to take out less loans or get some side hustles and pay off some of the loans. That did not work out, such is life, but I am doing what I can now and basically I have calculated that once I get an attending job, I can probably pay off all of it in close to 36 months, so two and a half years, two, three years, maybe less. We'll see what happens. I will definitely try to pay them off as quickly as humanly possible. Some people want to do public service loan forgiveness. I've heard a lot of sketchy things about the program, and I really would just rather be done with it. I would really, really, really rather have zero debt and be able to enjoy life without having to worry about debt. So that is one of the things that I have planned. And then the other loan that I have is my car loan, which we are working towards paying off before I finish residency. So I have been paying my car since June or July of 2018. So I have about three more years to go if we go by my loan plan. But one of the things that we talked about, my husband and I, was 
having him pay part of or an additional amount towards the loan every month so that we can pay off pay it off sooner so right now we I have an additional in, in addition to the two hundred and seventy three thousand dollar you know student loan debt that as if that wasn't enough I have a fifteen thousand nine hundred and eight dollars and five cents balance on my car loan. One of the things is that we want to do in 2021 is try to have my husband contribute some uh, a little bit more towards my car loan so that we can pay it off before we move from El Paso. So uh, if I continue doing my monthly budget videos and my financial recap videos that I want to do for 2021, then I will take you guys along with me on this journey of debt that I want to get rid of. And I foresee in the comments, some people saying, well, you're saving so much money. Why don't you put that extra money towards loans? Because in the grand scheme of things, it's really not gonna make a difference. I've calculated like if interest come back, even if I put more money towards it, the amount of interest that it's generating every single day or every single month, is way more than what I could afford. So it's not gonna make a difference if I continue, if I put more money towards my student loans. The best thing that I can do is try to, I'm one of the things I wanna do is change my repayment plan. So I'm currently on pay as you earn and I'm planning on doing a repay because it wouldn't really change that much. And then the other thing that I want to do is um, I'll continue doing those minimum payments and um, hopefully most of it will help keep the balance steady instead of helping it go up. So we will see. We'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully we can pay off my car and that's $15,000 that I don't have to worry about. See, this video went a little bit more rambly than I thought or than I wanted, but you know, debt is a sensitive topic for many and I wish that we were more open about finances and about money, especially women, women in medicine. We need to be open about talking about money or we need to be open talking about money. That makes more sense. I want to break those taboos. I want us to be a community that is financially savvy that we have the tools that we need in order to make better financial decisions and empower ourselves to not fall into the system so if you guys have any questions at all please leave them down in this in the comment section down below um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it um, subscribe if you haven't already hit the notification bell to know every time I upload a new video. Um, like I mentioned in my financial goals, I hope to be uploading two videos per month for now. And after that, let's see, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever you want, social media. I'm always active on Instagram. Um, so you can always stay up to date with what I am doing. And that's it. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. Thank you to 420 many of you that are following my channel and my journey and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Walking downtown and I'm okay.